Hello, my lovely Leos. How are you doing? I hope you're doing super fun, fabulous. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because we're listening for love. Happy October, guys. This year has flown by extremely fast. I'm so lucky to be here with you guys. Thank you so much. Absolutely love you. I do. I love you guys. You're stuck with me for so long. So let's talk about it. If you knew, baby, where you been? Do you like tarot? You like to know what's going to happen this month? You want to have a good time? This is the place to be. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Let's be friends, okay? And if you really like the vibe, come on over to Instagram and let's be besties, okay? Happy hour on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, depending on traffic, okay? Because I live in Houston, Texas, guys, and traffic is insane here. Um, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time, we do readings and we make friends. So come on over. It's happy hour. Now, <clears throat> If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Yes. All right, let's get into it. Let's talk about these energies. We're going to go into a general, the singles, the couples, and what's all signs. All right. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Throw that in there real quick. All right, guys. October 2nd. It's going to be a huge day. New moon, solar eclipse in Libra. What are we thinking about? Our money, our career. What's going on? What's happening? What is the damn deal? We might be trying to make a new plan, see if we're in the right direction. That's going to be heavy on our mind. On the 9th, Jupiter retrograde, 21 degrees, a Gemini, baby. All right. And on the 11th, Pluto goes direct, 29 degrees, Capricorn. So, Get the popcorn, pack your patience, and be ready because things are being revealed. Pluto is going to make a lot of transformations, especially, especially at the 29th degree. 29th degree equals um, maybe feeling rushed, feeling like something has to be done now, okay? And it also means major transitions. So just be prepared, baby, because everything is coming out, all right? We signed up for this timeline. I think. Anyways, on the 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. All right, it's freaky, freaky, diggy talking, okay? Now, on the 17th, we have this full moon in Aries, 24 degrees. And I just got to say, you are really fertile during this time. You take that how you want to. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to what you're thinking because it wants to manifest. It wants to grow. Remember, energy Energy goes where your thoughts are flowing, right? I don't even know what I was going to say. I kind of lost my train of thought. It's ADHD in me. Venus enters Sagittarius on that day either. So e either two. Venus enters into Sagittarius on that day too. So we have this full moon in Aries and then Venus in Sag. That's a lot of fire, lots of sparks, and a lot of excitement. Okay. And then call up that sexy Scorpio of yours and tell them happy birthday. All right, let's go celebrate. All right, happy birthday. What's going on? Let's look at these cards. All right, so the sixth house could be very important to you. The sixth house is your everyday activities. All right, so the sixth house is ruled by Virgo. What about your day to day activities? Um, are they benefiting you? Are they making things happen for you? How is your health? How's your nutrition? Um, how are you? Are you getting a pet? How are your pets doing? I, I got a fish, blueberry. Blueberry be tripping, y'all. Blueberry be getting mad at me. He's a beta. He be and I'm getting a dog. So my sixth house is activated right now. <laughs> and we're starting to pay attention to like what's going on. You could be even seeing the number 444 a lot, okay? Or you could be 44, like me. Ow. All right. Now, your animal energy that's going to get you through this month, baby, is no other than the badger. When the black and white animals come out, this is a significant time for being very balanced and putting balance in your life. And that's what the sixth house is about. Is like, does everything have balance and how can you do better? So bring your life into balance, all right? And be the honey badger, baby. You know what a honey badger is. We the baddest bee, okay? We're the baddest. Now... With that being said, I, you know, it's very interesting that the sixth house came out because I'm doing a paracleanse right now. I've changed my workout. I'm getting ready for a 5K. I'm like ready, guys. I am like making all these changes. And you know what I'm thinking, but we're going to make them, right? Anyways, this, this time around in love, we are very much focused on how much we're giving and how much we're getting. Whenever I see this card, I always feel like we're not going to come all the way out of the box unless it's worth it. We're not going to give completely until we see that it's worth it. Okay, so in love, we have wishes fulfilled, which comes out to the five of keys. 
your dream is gonna come true. What you wanted is yours. Are you ready? Are you ready, friend? Think about the fifth house ruled by Leo. Yes, it is, big baby. Now, this fifth house rules gambling, taking a chance, love, romance, kids. Just a damn dirty good time, okay? And your wishes are gonna come true. Now, with that, there is something about a contract, even a soul contract. We have the Ark of the Covenant coming in. So that could be very, very important for you also. Now, there are some, some things coming in that's very important this month. So pay attention around your fifth house and your 11th house. 11th house is also rules that of friendships. There could be a very important friendship coming into your life right now. It's also about your friend groups, the internet, social media, getting recognized, and your hopes and dreams. So those could be activated this month also. So, with that, I mean, read is done, right? We're just awesome. We're the best. I'm just kidding. I just love Leo energy. All right, let's see. What is the vibe? We're going to go into a general reading. This is for singles and couples. What is the general energy around love? We have that of a water sign coming through. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How are you doing, baby? We have a guardian angel coming in. Um, the guardian angel came also out for Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, go check that out. And patience. All right, we got to have some patience, especially around a contract. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. All right. And if we're in a situation with someone that we're not getting what we want, um, it's time to move on. Okay. It's like you're trying to make something happen where it's just not supposed to happen, friend. All right? And that ain't for everybody. So let's see what this water sign has for us. What's going on with the water sign? We have here, we have something coming to an ending, okay? The relationship is over. No second chances. Let it die, let it die, let it die. All right. What's this lost loved one wants us to know? Cl <coughs> Whoa. Clarity and truth, okay? There's also something about roses, all right? They want you to be very determined and focused. Let's get a description on this um, special guidance. Give us clues about who's trying to give us this message. We have the energy of the house. This is someone who was like very warm, very motherly energy, Cancerian energy, very stable, okay? The mountain, that is Aries energy. This person could have had a large forehead, a little bit of gray hair. But they also were like, I want to say the Rock of Gibraltar. I don't know why that came to my head. Like they were the person you could rely on for everything. Okay? Cancer energy again with the moon. Very feminine energy. This person is trying to bring illumination to the situation. And then there's, okay, there's also something about a dog. Okay, there was something like they love their dog so much. They carry their dog with them everywhere. And there is something about roses. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there because I don't want to cry. So they want you to be patient because there's something really good coming if you just leave the past alone. And they say be patient, do the healing. Leo, you got this. It's going to be fine. And move on. There's a new beginning, okay? We, we are not sitting around waiting for the old, okay? We want the new. New love, okay? We're ready. What do we got here? We have in the past the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, you could have been caught up like with a karmic or caught up in a situation that you knew you should have been leaving. But you just couldn't do it, all right? You're just like, oh, don't make me do it. But you could, like, untie the little yarn. You know how he's standing on his own yarn? Set yourself free, friend. Set yourself free. The Ten of Swords. Um, there's also a situation that you got into that you kind of feel like, oh, how could it have been that way? There could have been a lot of words or mind games, okay? I'm just going to grab the top one off of this. Then there's the moon. Okay, so there's also this thing about a trip. Okay, there's something about someone going on a trip. But there's a situation of like illumination coming in. It may not have already happened, but it's going to happen. That you're going to be getting the information that you need to be set free. All right? And you're going to take a break. That's falling right under the healing heart. You're going to take a break. I also feel like there's a lot of moon healing with you. Okay, a lot, maybe you're just like really using the cycles of the moon. And you're like, you know what? I'm a bad B. I'm the Nine of Pentacles. I've got it going on, okay? And overall, justice is being served. There's some karmic justice happening. Um, in this situation, Leo, you really feel like the illumination that you needed is coming through. What is this Ten of Swords about? The Six of Pentacles. I wouldn't even be surprised if you find out something about you overgave in a situation and this person was taking advantage of you. Four of Swords says, trust your... Trust, 
Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, my friend. And the Nine of Pentacles says the Knight of Swords. So be prepared. Once you release whatever it is that you've been holding on to that your spirit guide is saying, look, baby, you got this, okay? You got this. And there's this new energy ready to come right on in. All right? So that is what I have for the collective Leo energy. And we are going to jump into singles, okay? Singles, what's going on? How you been? How you doing? All right, let's see. Your guardian angel said, be patient. All right, be patient. Some of y'all could be receiving like a gift you never thought you were going to get. <laughs> what's in the box? All right, you yeah, know, what's in the box? All right. All right, let's see. What do we have for our beautiful single Leos? What do we have? We have a baby, baby, baby. Someone is expecting. Okay, now, if you can't have a baby, and I'm going to get a message saying you can't have a baby because maybe that part of the reading was not for you, okay? Maybe that was for someone else. However, your birth is something new. Maybe it's a new relationship. Love spell. You are smitten, my friend. And health issues could arise, so please take care of that. And the answer is yes. All right, go for it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, pregnancy, love spell, health. Ew. <laughs> Sounds juicy. What does pregnancy want our Leos to know? Blowing kisses in the wind, baby. Unconditional love. We are birthing something that is so exciting, so romantic. The love spell has been, has been cast. We no longer feel like we're not enough. We are not self-sabotaging. We are releasing those energies. Okay, this isn't for everybody. Um, if you go to someone's house and they want to cook you some spaghetti, something with a bread sauce, just eat the bread. All right, karmic health, okay? Karmic relationship, resentments and triggers. Pay attention to how those things are triggering you in your health also. Like, always thinking, like, let's try to be, keep our, our thoughts high vibe, okay? You could also find out about somebody who was a karmic relationship for you who is having health issues. All right. And what are we saying yes to? Stop the read. We're saying yes to the ring. Yes to the dress. It, luck is on your side. There is some commitment coming in, friend. Invite me to the wedding. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, let's see, Leo. Let's see. All right, what do we have here? We have the Page of Wands here at the bottom of our read, right? So we are very excited. We're initiating something new. We put ourselves out there. Damn dirty, we are now the queen. We have went from the page to the queen, baby. We just skipped over the princess. We skipped over the knight. We're the damn dirty queen. We are just letting things come to us, okay? We're magical. What is crowning your read? Somebody could have met somebody at work because that three of pentacles tried to fly out, okay? Open up your heart. Whoa, whoa, okay, the page of wands, the queen of wands, the sun, oh my gosh, it's definitely a yes, wow, okay, stop the read, stop the read, oh my god, all right, we are moving on, we're definitely leaving behind karmic relationships, we're also paying attention to our, to, it's not always so much when people trigger you, but it's also paying attention to your own um, patterns, friend, okay, where do you get yourself into, okay, the ace of cups was trying to fly out, but I stopped it, I don't know why, Oh my gosh, let me close my eyes and let me pull. Queen of Swords. All right, and then the overall is the devil. So we have got to really free ourselves from that. If we want that higher love, we want the new things, we've got to let this go, friend. That karmic energy, that um, sneaky link, those old behaviors. We're walking away from it. Because... Somebody want to put a ring on it, okay? We, we don't want this. We want this, okay? So we're going to do this. We're going to walk away from that, okay? So let's see here. Let's see here. Let's get some clarity. So we're over there. We're going out. We're meeting new people. We're the page of wands. We're hot to trot. We're giving love a chance. I'm loving it. I'm loving your vibe right now, Leo. The Seven of Cups, we're trying all different things, okay? We're going we're gonna to go to this, that, and the third, okay? We're having a great time here. And we have the King of Pentacles after us. So there is somebody who has their eye on you, and you're just like, I'm not too sure about this. 
Okay, well, the Queen of Wands is sitting pretty right here, and she's like, baby, come and get your love. Okay, the Four of Pentacles. If it does not excite me, it does not entice me, okay? We know our worth. We need to talk about it. We need to discuss what we want, like, need, and desire because it leads to a very interesting conversation with the Ace of Swords, okay? Oh. Okay, so for, for you, for the ones who are watching this, there's something about someone feeling like you're not that into them and then you'll have a conversation which excites you more. And you're like, oh, okay, you're into that too. Let's do it. And then your heart opens. Your heart is like, yes, I'm really feeling this. This is exciting. Yes. Because they treat you like the world. Okay? Yes, they want it. They want to, to hold you up to the level that you belong in. Okay? Ten of Pentacles, they think you are everything. This person that's coming into your life wants you to know they admire you. They look at your photo. They look at you. When you walk in the room, it's like no one else is there. All right, Six of Swords. We're leaving behind the sneakster. We're done with that guy or that girl. No more behind the back. No more doing it in the dark. Okay, we're leaving that behind. And why is the Queen of Swords cutting off here? We're cutting off the past. Six of Pentacles. See, I was trying to sneak. Oh, let me cover up the schnitties. See, I was trying to sneak back in. Talking about, hey, hey, Leo. Remember me? Remember the person who left you on red? Hmm. And you're like, there's the door, B. Okay? Because somebody put a ring on it, okay? Somebody wants to put a ring on it, Leo. Somebody is in love with you. And you're leaving this person who thought they were always going to have that pool with you in the past. Because you're building with someone new. Seven of Pentacles. Very, very beautiful energy. I want to say that week of the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Big baby, you are like on freaking fire. This is beautiful energy. It's like if you, if you had this in the past, you wanted this, you should have put a ring on it. But you didn't. And now somebody else wants to. And you can't keep coming back. Like we're done. That conversation that you have with this new person, whether it's the King of Pentacles or, or the King of Pentacles for him, baby, that person says, uh-uh, I like you, Leo. I want to put a ring on this. I want to take this. You are more than enough. You are my everything, and I'm in love, all right? Like, this person is feeling you, and I like that energy for you. I like it. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to move this. I'm going to pull on this devil real quick. Let me pull on this devil. I put all the cards back. Let's pull what this devil wants you to know. The Ten of Wands, they always had you hidden. You were hidden. You were like looking at them from a distance. Queen of Swords. And there was betrayal with the Three of Swords. So this devil was the person who broke your heart. And don't be surprised if they come back and you just don't feel the same anymore. And they thought... They thought they could always come back. They thought that they had you like that. They thought, oh, yeah, I, I can always have Leo when I want Leo. And Leo says no. What words, what, what might they want to say to our beautiful Leos? I underestimated how important you were in my life. I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. They miss talking to you. And you're worth more to me than I let on. And I wish you were with me. Clues about this individual. Who is this individual? Who is this individual? Ha! They're dangerous. <laughs> They're danger. They could have smoked. Okay? There's also something about coffee or maybe being in the military. And they always feel like they carried the, the weight of the world on their shoulders. One more, one more. There's something about their car or they like to Uber or they would always pick you up. Okay? There was something about driving for them. Ah. All right, but you know what? You moved on. So let's see who you're moving on with. Who is the best fit for our beautiful, sexy, and voluptuous, scrumptily umptious Leo, okay? Because you're just amazing, Leo. How does this new person look? I want to know. How do they look? How do they look? Let's see. How do they look for the Leo? Okay. Very, very beautiful hair. Very beautiful face. It's the bouquet, baby. I'm telling you, there's something about roses, okay? Good looking. Light brown hair, blonde hair, beautiful hair, light skin, sag energy, 
Ow, I love me some Sag. All right, we have the clock tower coming in. Tall, nice flat chest, okay? Capricorn energy. Can meet them in a building, too. Oh, some more Sag energy. We have the clover, green eyes, hazel brown eyes, Sagittarius, okay? And then we have that Taurus energy, very masculine energy. And then we have Mediterranean, dark eyes, or like light colored eyes, dark skin, olive skin, um, Pisces energy. All right, so let's get more clues about this individual who wants to come in. Huh. Beautiful hair. Ew, I love it. I love it. Let's see. Let's see. All right. The bouquet wants you to know there's something about food. They like to they like to eat very rich food. They also like for like flowers to be in the house. They want to put their seed in you. OK, um, there's something about plants about the, you like they love to they love plants. They I feel like they're going to bring you flowers. OK, Oop, that fell out. OK, and. They're very much into health and fitness. Health and fitness, they're very flexible. And there's the car. They're gentlemen. They love to open the door for you, take you places, things like that. And I'm going to say they want all the smoke, okay? And don't be surprised if that person from the past, for some of you Leos, might be coming back, okay? However... We in it to win it, baby. We in it for the good times. Give us some initials of this new person. Strong Sag energy. We have the Aura, the O, the D, and the E. We got Road, okay? Now, so R-O-D and E could be in their name. Okay, I like it. Mm, Theodore. All right, let's see. Okay, this is a part of the reading where we go into the couples. All right, let's check in the couples. What's going on for our beautiful couples? What's going on for our beautiful couples? We have a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Give it time, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. All right, and trust your intuition. All those little red flags that you want to ignore will be important later on, okay? They may backfire on you. And be careful, baby. Gather more information. Don't get yourself all worked up, okay? Get some more information. What's up with this fire sign? What's up with this fire sign? That was bad shuffling. What's up with the fire sign? Let's see. Boundaries. We don't want to talk about it. We're still upset. We're giving it time. We want clarity and truth. Some of us are listening to our spirit guides. And we want happiness and joy. So pay attention to the things that are bothering you now. And see, is this is this something I can um, deal with? Is this, you know, is this okay long term? Okay. And... There is unconditional love. Don't overwork yourself about certain things. There's a lot of attraction and a lot of stuff coming through with this, this relationship. All right, let's see. What is Leo's person thinking? What are they thinking? Their story is a three of swords. Oh, they're hurt. Why is your person so hurt? <laughs> what? They are thinking about change. Whew. They want things to change. They miss you, Leo. They see you as a seven of wands. Okay, you're like, don't, don't collect two hundred dollars. Don't don't pass go and don't call me no more. Okay. Leo, Leo is not playing. Your person is acting like the tower. I feel like your person is so lost without you. Leo, they miss you, baby. How are they acting? What what's comes between you? The six of pentacles. You're like, look, don't string me along and don't breadcrumb me. How does it end? The Eight of Cups. Leo, you are, you're really making some really tough decisions this month, okay? Overall energy, we have the Magician. Your person has to put in a lot of work right now, okay? I don't know what happened between you guys, but that this is not a happy, happy read, Leo. What is going on? Three of Swords, give me more. The Chariot. They want to make it right. They're like, okay, I want, I've got to make this right. I've got to make it right. I'm on my way to you. I want to make it work. And they're putting all this smiley face. Look at him. He's like, ready. Knight of Wands. They want that passion back with you. They want to feel that passion with you. But they feel like you've kind of shut them out. Like you're like, no, mm-mm. Because -mm. Leo is not playing with you today. Leo is not playing. 
Eight of Cups. They feel like you're rejecting them, like you don't want to be with them anymore, and you have showed them the door. There's the door, B. Like, I, Leo, I don't know what they did, but you are not, you, you is not here for it. Stop, okay? They know it. They know they cannot pass go. Okay, why? The hangman. They are trying, they're begging. They feel like you left them hanging. There's the Ten of Cups. You're like, look, if you can't give me all of it, I don't want none of it. Like, you can take that. They're, they're really heartbroken. The Tower by the Three of Swords. Yikes. Hierophant. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. Leo, this person is so afraid to lose you, they're going to be like, let's get married. Sounds like me with my kids. And they heard some bad news from my job, and I was like, we're getting a dog. Like, what the fuck? I just want to see people sad, so now I'm getting a dog. Anyways, and yeah. So I'm going to say the tower, the hierophant, and justice, for some of y'all, it's done deal. And for some of them, they think marriage is the only way to fix it. They're like, let me make it right. I want to make it right. And you're like, mm, I need to see some work. The eight of swords. We feel stuck. There's the devil in the background. There is like this feeling of like, this person's never going to change. And here they come back. I, but I'm back. I want to come back. The 86 could be important. 86 was usually what you would write on, um, like when you're taking an order and somebody didn't want gravy on mashed potatoes and you'd be like, 86 the gravy? Yeah. Y'all are ready to 86 this individual. Take it off the plates. All right. What is this eight of cups about? And look, she got her boots on. They're made for walking. And that's just what they'll do, baby. One of these, these boots going to walk all over you. But here they come. Two of swords, baby. Baby, baby, forgive me. Baby, forgive me, okay? Two of wands. Can we talk about it? Because I want to be your emperor. And I do feel like this person wants to make things right, but you are just not with the shenanigans. They took too long. And like I said, this may not be for everybody. The wheel is here. So this energy is like, look, you're moving on. You're doing things differently. And you're going to have this really intense conversation with the Nine of Cups. There's something about a trip. So like they want to be your King of Cups. They want to be your, they want to be your everything. They miss the passion. They miss the joy. They want things to change. However, you're like, look, if you don't change and if we're not taking this relationship to this level, we're not going to have this level. Like you have enabled all your boundaries. You want clarity you want truth and this person does not know how to make it right this person is either their cho their decision is either we get a divorce or we're getting married because leo i don't want to lose you and leo you have the ultimate last last choice with this i don't know that was really intense he's reached something really intense i don't know if it's the eclipse energy or what but let's get you a little bit more clarity i'm gonna go and just see if there's anything 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 in the dark that we need to be brought to the light let's see <laughs> not today, baby. You just living your best life. You're like, look, I saw them red flags. I already know. I'm going to trust my intuition. Am I? Okay. Anything that Leo needs to know in this relationship. There you are, Leo. Okay, there you are. Smelling your roses. There's that little sneakster energy. Why you peeping me? Everybody knows that I'm a G. Key information is coming through. Key. New key information really new that confuses you yeah definitely some information coming in pay attention to the 13th the 13th could be very very important okay the 29th the 24th could be very important i feel like you're gonna get a lot of information that's going to change your mind and i feel like if this individual does not fix those things you're not dealing with them okay let's get some guidance we have the world you are ready to greet the world you are heartbroken about the information, but justice will be served. Okay, I'm some of y'all are going to court, taking this man to court or this woman to court, okay? The world wants you to know, look, we don't deal with community D or community P, okay? If you got it for the community, you ain't got it for me. Bye, okay? Why are we broken hearted? Because we don't feel like we're in balance. And I want to say September 22nd could be important. And we are very nervous about a soul contract, a contract, um, going to court, going something being done. And don't worry about your money, boo. Your money's going to be fine. You, your money is going to be fine. Okay. Wow, Leo. Wow. I, I don't know.
no, Leo. That was really intense. Okay, let's look at let's look at the all signs read. Let's see. Maybe we get some help there. So this is the part of the read for all signs. I feel like your spirit guide really wants you to be patient and let things play out. Okay. So here we go. We got that eight. So we got love, but if they if if they didn't put in on it, they can't be in on it, okay? Like if you ain't helping, baby, then you hurting me, and we're not doing that, okay? Okay, that's it. All right, here you are, Leo. You are ready to invest with the Ace of Pentacles and. Aries is filling you three of cups. They're ready to pour into it, but there is a little bit of hurt coming into this, okay? The 19th could be important. Someone is very heartbroken, but you're willing to give it another shot. I do think that they're going to make a huge apology. Mm. If you're dealing with an Aries or have a lot of Aries in your chart, you need to go listen to the Aries read because that was all about somebody begging for forgiveness, okay? Queen of Swords coming through for you. Yeah, you know, means... Exit stage left. Thank you. Taurus says, I want to have a baby. I want to get married. I want to be, I want to give you the world, okay? The <laughs> Venus energy here. But somebody is not listening to a spirit guide. So I don't know if you're just shutting Taurus down. Like you're like, no, no. And Taurus is like, what can I do to make you love me again? Yeah, Taurus might be the one who's, who's like, let's get married. <laughs> you're like, the hell? Like, sir or ma'am, what is wrong with you? But you like it, all right? You feel like something is not complete, something isn't working for you, and Gemini is like, we built this city on rock and roll, baby. We got this. But the communication is completely off with you guys. The 19th could be important. Here you are, not listening to your spirit guide, and Cancer is holding back just a little bit. They, they're letting you get a little bit, but they're not giving it all to you, and you're starting to see a lot of red flags in this situation. What is your prayer? What are you not listening to? Uh, for one, you don't want to see the red flags because somebody might have a nice chest, okay? Gaslighting. So you could be getting gaslit in a situation, okay? Wearing a mask. The 20th could be important. You have made your final decision with the Seven of Cups reversed. And the other Leo is like, I don't know. I don't know, both of y'all reversed in your emotions. Y'all are neglecting your emotions because you're not sure if you're ready to be in a relationship. The fourth could be important. Here you are as a damn dirty victory with the chariot, baby. And Virgo said, let's have babies. Let's make this family. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Let's get married. Ew. All right, the 17th could be important. I like it. I like it. Okay, here you are. Not listening to your intuition, not paying attention to the red flags, and Libra said, let's get married. Let's pray about it. I feel like your spirit guy said, are, are we in the same relationship? They're giving you signs, and you're not paying attention. Um, you need to pay attention to the love, okay? I feel like maybe you're not trusting your intuition. Pay attention to this person's actions, Okay. Here you are. You are not feeling it. Queen of Cups reverse. You're kind of looking at this person like, what did I even see in you in the first place? All right. And Scorpio said, you know, I like it. Everybody's in love with you, Leo. <laughs> the solution is passion. All right. Leo, um, Scorpio said, if I can get you to feel good, okay, you're mine. And you're like, no, <laughs> no. Uh, the 20th is important. Here you are as the Princess of Cups reversed and Sagittarius is the Magician reversed and the solution is no one's making any decisions. I kind of feel like you don't trust the situation and they kind of feel a little bit um, shaky about it, okay? The 13th could be important. You don't like the way something ended and Capricorn is not listening to their spirit guide and we're just taking a step back. Like nobody's even worried about it. We're just taking a step back. What is Capricorn up to? Their boundaries, their hurt. Not today. Not today, Leo. Here you are. You feel a little attacked. And Aquarius said, but I want to go on a vacation with you. I love you. And you're like, no, you're not giving me enough. And they're like, fine, whatever. You're going to go on a trip on the 12th. And they're like, no, we're going together. We go together. Aquarius is like, you're mine. <laughs> Here you are as the Nine of Pentacles. You're enjoying being single and looking good. And Pisces was like, can we be together? What is the answer? We can have sex. <laughs> we can have fun. But you're like, I'm not ready to give in yet. I'm not ready, Pisces. And your lucky day is the 16th. 
All right, guys, I had a lot of fun with you tonight. I hope y'all have a beautiful month. Take care. Come hang out with me on Instagram. Check me out on TikTok. And let's, let's connect. Let's get some readings, all right? Take care and be blessed.